Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is like my dozenth attempt or more. <laughs> I keep going on a little too long. Much is happening, as you know. And again, here we are, more persecution of the Christians. We are to expect persecution in these days, brothers and sisters, because killing Christians is a sport in many countries on this planet. And if you're not aware of that, Christians are being persecuted uh, daily in over 150 countries plus around the world, killing them, a lot of them, throwing them in prison just for being a Christian. And God warned that these things would happen. They turn to Revelation 6, check out verses 9 through 11. They speak on this big time, right? And they're begging God, hey, like, when are you going to do right by us, and, you know, and get revenge, right? And he's straight up telling them, uh, chill just for a little season until, you know, your your fellow servants and your brethren that should be killed as well were you are. It's a straight word, right? And you look at it and you're going, wow. That long ago, this was written so that we would be ready for these days that we see right here before our very eyes. God loves you so much. He really does. He put everything right there at your fingertips. Just go into some building doesn't guarantee you're saved. No. Only a personal relationship with God does. Straight word. When Jesus is living in your heart, I mean really living in your heart, you're a new creature in God's eyes, right? And you have nothing to fear. What's the worst they can do? Kill you and send you to God. He won, right? That's where you want to be in the first place, right? Prepare for the hard days ahead, brothers and sisters. Because any fool can hurt and kill, as you see. But it takes a great man or a woman to stand up and help people. There are many in need right now and very few helping. Think about it. Open up your Bible and read today. The only thing that you can trust in this world right now is Jesus, right? You can count on Jesus no matter what. Prepare to be persecuted very soon, and it's going to be knocking on your door, brothers and sisters. Right now, it's all over the planet in different areas. Soon, we'll be at your front door. <laughs> and I'm not joking. Think about it and open your Bible today. Bye-bye.